Imagine a truck designed to drive straight through explosions, shrug off machine gun fire, and plow relentlessly through Siberian snowstorms like they're mere inconveniences. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not for Russia. In the vast and unforgiving landscape of the world's largest country, ordinary military vehicles simply wouldn't survive. Russia didn't just need trucks. They needed indestructible fortresses on wheels. But how exactly did these rugged machines evolve from simple transports into the toughest, most armored vehicles ever built? From devastating lessons learned in World War II ambushes, to intense battles fought in Afghanistan's mountain passes and Chechnya's urban combat zones, Russian engineers had no choice but to create trucks that could endure anything. Today, these military vehicles are legendary for their resilience, armor, and sheer toughness. But what's their secret? Why exactly are Russian military trucks built like bunkers? Let's dive in and uncover the astonishing engineering behind Russia's unstoppable machines. When it comes to armored transport, Russia's military doesn't take chances. They created vehicles capable of surviving direct hits from mines, rockets, and heavy gunfire. Among these battle-tested giants, the KMAZ-63968, Typhoon K stands out. Introduced in 2014, this 6x6 armored truck is built specifically to counter modern warfare threats. With composite armor strong enough to stop armor-piercing rounds and a deep V-shaped hull designed to deflect explosive blasts away from the crew, the Typhoon K represents the cutting edge of armored troop transport. But it doesn't stop there. The Typhoon K also prioritizes versatility. Its modular design means it can quickly adapt from a troop carrier into a mobile command post, ambulance, or even an explosive ordnance disposal vehicle. With a powerful 450 horsepower diesel engine and advanced independent suspension system, it can maneuver across harsh terrain swiftly, keeping troops safe without compromising mobility. Complementing the Kamaz is its rugged counterpart, the Ural 63095 Typhoon U. Built around the same philosophy of protection, this vehicle features a distinctive bonneted design that places the engine at the front. Why? Because in the event of a mine blast or frontal ambush, the engine block itself acts as a shield, absorbing the explosion and minimizing damage to the crew compartment. Both vehicles emerged from Russia's Typhoon program, a direct response to the harsh lessons learned during the Chechen Wars and other recent conflicts. The message was clear, survivability first, as a result, troops can confidently move through high-threat environments. Knowing they're riding in vehicles that don't just carry them, they protect them like armored bunkers. When roads disappear and terrain becomes impossible, Russian military trucks like the Ural 4320 step into their element. Introduced in 1977, the Ural 4320 is renowned for its sheer mechanical simplicity toughness, and legendary off-road prowess. Powered by a reliable V8 diesel engine generating 240 horsepower, this truck can haul over 5 tons of payload across muddy swamps, rocky terrain, and deep snow. Its bonneted cab design doesn't just balance weight distribution, it also provides a crucial buffer against frontal blasts and mines, protecting the crew in hazardous environments. The Ural 4320 has proven its durability repeatedly on battlefields from Afghanistan to Chechnya, often withstanding severe damage, yet still returning troops safely home. Its robust frame and straightforward mechanics ensure it can be repaired quickly, even under fire, making it an indispensable workhorse that soldiers trust implicitly. Alongside the Ural is another legend. <laughs> The Kamaz 4310. Introduced in 1981, the Kamaz 4310 became a staple truck for Soviet forces due to its powerful 220 horsepower diesel engine, permanent all wheel drive, and high payload capacity of around 6 tons. Its cab over engine layout provides excellent visibility but leaves the crew exposed to mines and frontal attacks. To counter this, soldiers in Afghanistan and Chechnya 
often retrofitted their Kamazi trucks with improvised armor plating and reinforced floors. Despite these vulnerabilities, the Kamazi 4310 remains a vital transport vehicle, renowned for its adaptability and ease of maintenance in difficult conditions. Equipped with oversized off-road tires and locking differentials, it can maneuver through deep mud, sand dunes, and challenging terrains where other trucks would simply stall. Then, there's the legendary Ghazi 66, affectionately called Shishiga by Russian soldiers. Though not inherently armored, this compact 4x4 truck earned its rugged reputation from sheer reliability in extreme environments. Produced from 1964 to 1999, nearly 1 million Gezi 66 trucks served across various conflicts worldwide. Soldiers loved its simple mechanics, exceptional ground clearance, and superior off-road traction provided by its centralized tire inflation system. A groundbreaking feature at the time. While its steel body panels offered minimal ballistic protection, crews frequently improvised with sandbags and mounted weapons, effectively turning the Gaz-66 into mobile fighting positions. It wasn't built as an armored fortress, but its toughness, agility, and mechanical simplicity allowed it to survive missions that other vehicles couldn't handle. Vehicles engineered not just to survive, but thrive in places other trucks dare not tread. Mobile warfare demands command vehicles that aren't just well-equipped. They must be tough enough to protect the vital communication gear and personnel inside. Russian military engineers tackled this challenge head-on, creating vehicles like the MAZ-543 Oregon, an imposing 8x8 command truck that first appeared in the 1960s. Originally built to transport and control strategic missiles, the MOZ-543's distinct dual-cab design sets it apart. Two separate cabins flank a central engine, providing redundancy and flexibility. One cab handles vehicle driving, while the other manages launch operations. Its thick steel chassis and nuclear biological chemical NBC protection systems make it ideal for coordinating missile strikes even amidst nuclear threats turning this vehicle into a true mobile fortress. Another standout vehicle in mobile command operations is the BTR-80K a special command variant of the renowned BTR-80 armored personnel carrier. Produced since the late 1980s, the BTR-80K differs from standard APCs by incorporating advanced communication gear, additional antennas, and navigation equipment. It maintains the BTR-80's amphibious capabilities and is armed with a 14.5mm heavy machine gun, meaning commanders can safely coordinate battlefield maneuvers without sacrificing firepower. Inside, the BTR-80K's interior is reconfigured into a compact, armored command post, equipped with tactical maps, encrypted radios, and workspace for officers, allowing them to remain close to frontline units without exposing themselves to enemy fire. Rounding out Russia's mobile command fleet are the Ural Command and Control Trucks, fitted with KUNG modular bodies. Built on robust chassis like the Ural 4320, these vehicles house insulated armored cabins filled with communication and encryption equipment. The Kung bodies offer protection against small arms fire and shrapnel, creating secure mobile workspaces that commanders rely on in dangerous operational zones. Equipped with extendable antennas, onboard generators, and NBC filtration systems, these trucks are truly self-contained command centers. They can swiftly relocate when threatened, thus protecting vital command personnel and maintaining operational integrity even in hostile environments. Together, these mobile command vehicles highlight the distinct Russian approach, combining protection, versatility, and robust communication capabilities to ensure battlefield leaders remain secure effective and always in control no matter how severe the conditions become. Mm -hmm. 
Russian missile transporter vehicles are among the most strategically critical and heavily fortified vehicles ever engineered. Take the mighty MAZ-7917, for example. Built specifically to carry the Topol Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, the MAZ-7917 is less a truck and more a mobile launch platform. With a staggering length of nearly 19 meters, it features a 14-wheel drive system and dual armored cabins designed to protect crew members even in a nuclear environment. The sheer rigidity of its massive frame allows it to elevate and fire missiles weighing up to 50 tons without structural failure, effectively making it a land-based armored silo on wheels. Equally impressive is the BAZ-6909, used as the Transporter Erector Launcher and TEL for the Lethal Iskander M missile system. Introduced in the early 2000s, the BAZ-6909 is a modern armored 8x8 truck equipped to rapidly deploy two ballistic missiles simultaneously. It's powered by a 500-horsepower diesel engine, ensuring mobility across rough terrain. What makes it truly special is its heavily armored cab, capable of protecting crew from small arms fire, shrapnel, and mine blasts. In combat scenarios, it practices swift shoot-and-scoot tactics, firing missiles and then rapidly relocating, leveraging mobility itself as protection against enemy counterfire. Another legend is the ZIL-135, a uniquely engineered missile carrier famous for its distinctive dual-engine setup. Originally introduced in 1959, the ZL-135 was used for carrying battlefield rockets like the FROG-7 and BM-27 Uragan systems. Its innovative layout features two separate engines, each powering wheels on one side of the vehicle. This meant that even if one engine was damaged or disabled, the other could still maneuver the truck to safety. Amphibious capabilities allowed it to ford rivers and marshes, delivering rockets to strategic locations inaccessible to conventional missile carriers. Its rigid chassis design, initially without suspension to improve stability, made it ideal for precise rocket launches. These missile carriers exemplify Russia's unique philosophy uh, of combining massive payload capability with extraordinary durability. They aren't simply trucks, they're strategic assets capable of delivering devastating firepower under the harshest battlefield conditions. Each is purpose-built, not just to survive but to retain full operational capability in the face of direct enemy attack, truly embodying the concept of a bunker on wheels. On any battlefield, the logistics and support roles can be the most vulnerable, and the Russian military knows this well. This understanding led them to develop specialized armored support vehicles that can operate under fire safely completing critical missions without endangering their crews. One prime example is the Ural 63095 Typhoon U Armored Recovery Vehicle. Built from the rugged Typhoon MRAP platform, this armored support variant is equipped with powerful cranes, winches, and maintenance tools, enabling recovery and field repairs even in hostile environments. With composite armor resistant to 14.5 mm armor-piercing rounds and a V-shaped hull, Specifically designed to withstand explosive blasts, this vehicle protects engineers as they recover damaged equipment, clear obstacles, or conduct urgent repairs on the front lines. It's essentially a mobile garage, but one built like a tank. Another frontline protector is the Kamaz 63968 Typhoon KMRAP, a heavily armored troop transport vehicle renowned for exceptional protection against mines and ambushes. With a high output 450 horsepower diesel engine, independent suspension, and all-around composite armor, the Typhoon K isn't just transportation, it provides fortress-like security. Advanced features including electronic countermeasure systems against radio-controlled IEDs, sophisticated cameras, and thermal signature reduction, all combine to deliver unprecedented battlefield protection. It's a clear evolution in Russia's approach. Finally, there's the versatile Gaz Vodnik, a unique 4x4 amphibious armored vehicle famous for its modular design. Introduced in the late 1990s, the Vodnik can quickly adapt from troop carrier to ambulance, reconnaissance vehicle, or mobile command post simply by changing its rear module. Despite its lighter armor compared to other specialized trucks, 
It excels in mobility, traveling over 100 kilometers per hour on roads and effortlessly traversing rivers. Soldiers admire the Vodnik's exceptional adaptability, robust design, and surprising roominess for its size, qualities that have earned it a reputation as the Swiss army knife of armored vehicles. These specialized vehicles embody Russia's core military philosophy, protecting support personnel just as rigorously as frontline soldiers. Each vehicle is purpose-built, combining strength, mobility, and versatility into platforms capable of tackling complex tasks while shielding their occupants from the harsh realities of warfare. Ultimately, these trucks exemplify why Russian military vehicles aren't merely transport, they're true bunkers on wheels.